Hi guys, welcome to Luna's Kitchen. I'm Luna. Today we're gonna be making a favorite dish of mine. This is one of my uh, favorite Spanish dishes. We're gonna be making beef empanadas. And in keeping up with the Spanish theme of tonight's dinner, we're also gonna pair the empanadas with tembleque. If you're familiar with tembleque, you already know how tasty it is, how fun it is to eat. And if it's gonna be your first time making it, make sure to follow the link in the description box and I'll bring you to video number two. This is gonna be part one and then making the dessert is gonna be part two. So make sure you go watch that as well. So let's have fun and let's make some empanadas, guys. And leave me some comments. Let me know if you attempted this, if you made this, and if I can answer any questions, let me know. For our empanadas beef filling, these are the things that we're gonna use. We're gonna use an onion, we're gonna use a little bit of water, some tomato paste. This is some ground black pepper mixed with a little salt. Right here I have some cayenne pepper. That's optional if you like heat. I like heat, I like a little spicy. I have a little paprika. Right here I have some garlic powder, I have some onion powder, and I have additional garlic mix in this mixture. And this is just blended spices. It's and right here I have a Sazon packet and then I have a Goya Maggi cube that I'm gonna put. And I have about a pound, a pound and a half of grounded beef. As you guys can see, I've made a big hole in the middle of this pan. I'm gonna add my tablespoon of tomato paste. I'm gonna add my black pepper. This is a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper and a um, quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of our our seasoning and other ingredients. you guys are finding that your meat is still a little bit bland as far as like not enough salt I don't know how salty you know some of you guys like the meat add a little bit more adobo or a tiny bit of salt Can you see how much oil is in here we're gonna drain all of that you don't want all of that inside the empanadas all right guys, so I've just added some cilantro. This is optional, you guys don't have to do this, but I like the taste of it. So I just added some cilantro to my meat and it's smelling so good. It looks good and it smells good. And I've already removed this much oil from the pan, from the meat. You always wanna drain the oil from your meat when you're making um, when you're making empanadas, because what happens is if you make that patty, it's gonna the, the oil's gonna drip and it's it's just not good. But it's not healthy too, so you wanna remove as much oil as you can. So I actually have half a cup of water here, but I'm not gonna pour all of it. I'm gonna put maybe like one fourth, about this much. And then we're gonna let this cook for a little bit. In about five more minutes, we're gonna come back and we're gonna pour a little bit more water. All 
All right, so now we're gonna put in the rest of our water. And we're gonna let that cook for another additional five minutes and then it's gonna be ready. Hey guys, so I'm doing those two types of ways. Um, I have some, the this beef, I have cheese mixed it in and it's melted. That's why it looks like this. It looks gooey. So I have cheese in this and then this is just the plain beef. Um, and then for my discs, I'm using these empanada discs. And then so this is how we're gonna stuff it. I've, I've already gone ahead and I've added um, some filling to this. And this is how you wanna close it with a fork. Just like this. You wanna press down hard enough that it closes. All right guys, so I'm gonna do this again. So I did one. I'm gonna go ahead and do another one and show you how. We take this whole thing out. Put it here. I add about this much stuffing. it like this with a fork and that's all you do you want to make sure that it's it's closed so that way when you're frying it it doesn't um, it doesn't open up so I'm gonna do this a third time. This time I'm gonna do it with the plain beef so you can see how I close it. I put the shell down right here. I put the disc down. Put about a tablespoon of filling. About this much. And also there's, um, there's two sizes of, of disc. There's a larger size I'm using the smaller um, the smaller disc so it's a little bit harder to use if you like it really filled like I like the empanadas to be stuffed so so you close it like so with the fork you press down hard enough that you close the shell And that's all that you do and you keep going and now we're gonna go ahead and fry our empanadas guys you definitely want to make sure that your oil is heated up when you're frying your empanadas you don't want to put your um, patties into cold oil it's gonna be soggy when you take it out and the empanadas are gonna soak up the oil so you want to make sure that your fire your oil is heated up to medium high heat um, yeah medium heat and you want to fry them you want to pay close attention you don't want them to burn you want to be attentive when you're frying these so it's been about five minutes and I've flip these that's I forgot to tell you guys you have to flip these um, so you flip them once the sides become like a golden brown you flip them and so now we're gonna take them out with oil I think this one's ready this is what it looks like golden brown empanada and I've lined this up with paper towel to just drain the oil I'm gonna leave this one for a little bit this one's ready to go guys dinner was amazing it was so good everything came out so beautiful and as you can see the tembleque we had for dessert was just so tasty I've included the link to follow look at that oh my god that looks so good so if you want to know how to make tembleque 
follow the link in the description box and it will show you part two of this part one video. Bye.